Hello everyone, I'm Iteration Funk and this is episode 16 of my Modern Skyblock 3 series. Larry here. Yeah, I don't know. La Larry, you're, you're just weird. So I updated the pack to 3.1.5.4. Well, that's a long one. And steel production seems to be working. So I guess it's safe to progress things that require steel, kinda. And we have 4k glass, and kinda linked uh, these up with uh, enderlink, enderlink chests. These are the first enderlink chests I've done. The mod seems kinda cool. And if we give it like eye of ender while, while holding shift, it's gonna expand the buffer, which is kind of neat. We don't really often, like, most of the time you don't need a huge buffer for ender chests, they are just for transferring from place to place. And since last episode, I also kind of made a loop for this, so, or it isn't a loop, it's just, just a production line, I guess. So I give the ground trap bait, and it's gonna produce yeah, it's gonna produce uh, passive animal drops, and yeah, so that might give us some extra leather, which would be nice. Let me just sleep here real quick. What's nice about the queen here is that we don't need to trade for more. We can just turn it into jelly and then kind of grab a grub here, and we get another queen. So it's reusable. Today we're gonna focus on some questing, I think, so we're gonna kinda complete Master Chef chapter and some true magic, I think. And I kinda started with Psy. This quest is kinda self-explanatory, you make a rod constructor, you put the rod in uh, this slot and it's gonna give you a focusing rod. Now, for those of you that don't know what Psy is, it's kinda... I guess it's kind of like a programming uh, mod for spells and stuff. Some of some of the spells you could do quite easily, but if you're gonna do an advanced spell, you should probably have some programming knowledge. And the Psy Dust, which is one of the first quests actually, is just made with uh, redstone. So you drop redstone on the ground and you kind of plop, uh, right click with this wand. Let me actually just show that, and let, let's do maybe this much. Um, kind of turned, but not entirely. Can open this. Rainbow lamps. Uh, redstone lamp, different color depending on redstone strength. That's interesting. Uh, and I think... There is some key bind to, like, let's see, the Psy guide, and that should be the category Psy. Maybe if I just do this. So your master key bind for magical Psy. If you hold the focusing rod, you're gonna get this wheel with spells, and empty hand will bring up the guide, and I've done this in a previous world, I think I did it on System Collapse Patreon server while I was trying out things on Diewolf 20. So yeah, that's uh, complete for me. I'm gonna link a tutorial video or like fast track video of how you kinda level up this in the video description because I'm not gonna show everything on camera. It's quite tedious and it's, it doesn't make for good content really. So. We need to grab a spell inscriber and a spell node. I'm gonna make two spell nodes, I think, because we need two spells to progress and I don't wanna swap them out. So spell, let's see here. Spell inscriber, we need a map. Oh boy. So are, are you having like a crafting conflict? Can I make, oh, we're out of iron. And now that I'm not full on saturation, I can show this off. I think you hold shift and then kind of eat on it. 
So it has the ability, and you can probably repair it. Uh, and yeah, that's gonna give you saturation. I should automate this with like a drawer controller by now. But yeah, this now has <laughs> kind of infinite glass. And the only thing, I guess I'm feeding you with turkeys now as well, so you're kind of fully automated. This setup is kind of, it's looking like a monstrosity, but it, it's working quite nice. So let me grab that iron. And we'll just go over here. And I guess we'll make the other recipe here. And that should work. Cool. We'll make a spell inscriber and we need spell nodes, which we then can put into our uh, focusing rod. So the second part of this is a rod crux, a notch and a rod source. And they kind of give different things to your rod. I think this rod notch is the most important thing, uh, at least for kind of tells you how many spells you can have. I think you can have four spells on this minor one. So it was a crux, a notch and a source. Crux is easy enough. And yeah, I can't do that yet. So we can't do that yet. Let's do the minor one and a source. That wasn't too bad. Now I need to go and assemble this into a another rod, kinda. And I don't think we can get the component back or kinda alter this. I'm gonna need gonna need another rod frame, probably. Can I make? I'm gonna make the gold rod frame. I think we need that to be able to make the infusion. I hate these. They are just the worst. So we're gonna grab. If I click the correct thing, I'm gonna grab a rod frame and kind of go over here and assemble our second rod. So I think this is the notch, crux, and source. And then we can put like spell nodes in here when they actually have a spell on them. So you don't have a ton of stuff, we're gonna just trash you. I'm sure there's a way to kind of disassemble them, but I can't remember. So this is the kind of spell interface and we're gonna search for infusion, which we need to progress. One of them is gonna be just a regular infusion. And then one will be greater infusion. And let's rename you. So we just click you and we have infusion and greater infusion. Put that in here. Now when I hold C, I should be able to kind of switch between them. And as you can see, hmm, lag spike. As you can see, I can't do great infusion with this rod because we need to upgrade it. So we're gonna need the infusion. And I think it's gold. I'm not sure where the lag spikes are coming from. I didn't have them earlier today when I tried out this new version of it. Let's hope it's not gonna become an issue. That's a stack of psi metal that we did with the infusion uh, thing, and I think that's like level 15. Yeah, no. The regular infusion is on 10. So, yeah, that was a quest, I guess. And now we need psi gems, and we're gonna need a bunch of them. But to actually be able to make that, we need to upgrade our. need to upgrade our stuff again. So we're gonna make this Psy Metal Rod frame and this better notch and the Bright Rod Crux and a source that's a little bit better. And was that all? I think it was. So before we delete the previous rod, we're gonna kinda take these spells with us and then we can trash can you and I think this is gonna be good enough to make the greater infusion. Let's pop you up here and take you out. Now great infusion and you can kind of see we have more these notches now for spell usage. 
And the only spell I think I will use in this playthrough is the kind of light conjurement. Because we can make uh, lights that are prettier than torches. And we're gonna... The last quest here is kind of making all of the different metals. And I think we're just gonna do 20 of these maybe. I think we need many diamonds. Those are outside them. So we can claim you. And the last one, we need to do everything here. And I think the armors take two side gem each, most of them, and the tools take one. So that's four, uh, four eight, uh, 12 or something. Maybe overdid it a bit. So we should maybe just hop into the crafting table here and just do them from the top here. And I don't know how these interact with spells. Ah, we're out of gold. Go figure. So put it in here. So yeah, so as I was saying, I don't know how these tools interact with spells, but what's cool about armor is that they have event handlers. So for example, the boots have an event of jump, so they're gonna trigger on uh, they're gonna trigger the spell that's assigned to them on each jump. So you can probably do some cool stuff like whenever you jump you can propel yourself uh, a few blocks up or something. Let's just make all of these and I think yeah all of them seem to take just two side jump. And we're just gonna kind of take a look at that armor because it's so damn neat. Whoever was the artist for the... hmm the artist for the magical Psy extension really outdid themselves. This is a super cool armor set and kind of looks like something that would come out of Formcraft. But yeah, that's not super useful armor. So we're gonna put that away for now. All of that. So that was everything we need to do in some true magic. I will come back and kind of take a look at the random things, uh, ectoplasm and stuff, some other episode. We made these in between episodes. And we should be able to come back here now and claim the power of the stars, which is astral sorcery. And we'll see if we have some time over for that after I kind of complete the quests for a true chef, but it's kind of neat how this works with uh, this pack, you kind of create this with uh, the reconstructor over there. Oh look, it's night again. So I kind of got one of the green ones uh, of the cooking books from loot bags or rewards, and I just had to turn that into this with regular crafting and I think that was the quest. We just needed both of them. And that unlocks uh, the cooking table. And we need cooking for blockheads uh, too. Let me see here. We need to smelt you, I guess. And that can be turned into the two. We just need two diamonds. Which is quite fitting. There we go. And I think we need... Uh, what was it? Two crafting tables. Okay. That's easily done. And let's go ahead and do that. Now the cooking table, which is a part of the cooking for blockheads multi-block structure. Uh, we're just gonna need that with some terracotta. Do I have some left? Oh boy. Just my luck. I have two left. So we're gonna make some more terracotta in our furnaces here. You have a little bit of burn time left. Put that back in here and the other thing, let's see, the other thing was just any stone. So we're gonna, gonna grab three stone here. One, two, three, and some terracotta. That should be fine. 
And that's the cooking table now. Yeah, you're complete. I'm glad I didn't have to make another book. That would have sucked. So here's some other uh, things. There's a sink, which will give you kind of infinite uh, water in recipes, so you don't need to bring that to the table. But yeah, and we can kind of use this in the multi-block structure as well. So for now, I'm just gonna... Um, um, I'm just gonna hook it up on this side for now. Uh, not enough ingredients, okay. I think that was kind of it here. I made both of them. Did I unlock something? No, kind of didn't, but I know we need this unlocked for bees later. I guess we need forestry complete and maybe something else. But I kind of want to make a sink because they're useful, even for kind of infinite water automation. And let's hope there's one more terracotta in here. Bah. Let's smelt up one last terracotta. And we need more after that. Uh, kitchen counter. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say it's gonna need <laughs> terracotta. So let's just grab all of our clay and kind of rip the band-aid off. I'm gonna go in here. So today is kind of all about questing. I just want to progress some quest lines so I don't get too focused on a single mod and kind of stagnate on quest progress. So the kitchen sink. We need a bucket of water. And we're gonna go ahead and just do this. That's a bucket of water. Water! And you're complete. This is the sink. We can just kind of put you down here and it's gonna... Now it can make infinite water. We could just make a stack of fresh uh, water since we have a sink. So whatever recipe requires fresh water can now easily be made since we have a sink there. And I wonder how I need... Doesn't look like you connected there. Maybe you need a bucket before you'll show up uh, as something we can do here. But yeah, that's done. And the kitchen counter. Let's hope the fridge isn't some terracotta bullshit. No, it's not. So we're gonna make just one counter and that's some sort of storage I guess and this is just two doors so that's two fridges cool so can I kind of have the counter here and the fridge here that's satisfying can we actually do that yeah Neat, and we can put it in as well. So I'm not sure what the fridge is about, because ingredients don't go bad in Minecraft, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, cooking utensils. Yeah, I kind of want to do this. But there's a lot of minor steps to that that I kind of want to do on camera. Let's take a look at the pot, for example. And I guess it's here. So that is brick. So I'll be back when I've done the cooking utensils and we take a look at what that brings to the table because we can kind of hang these tools up on racks and whatever function uh, they have. Ah, and now that the milk has a bucket, can use it for recipes here. That's neat. So I finished the cooking utensils quest and some of these are kind of neat and I kind of grabbed some ingredients with me here and I kind of want to see Ah, 
missing oven to cook, so that's neat. We just need an oven, kind of. And can we make some cheese? Neat. Now, we want to make the tool racks, tool racks to be able to kind of hang up all of our tools here. Let's see what that is like. Iron nuggets. Way to go. That's not expensive. Gonna make a few of them. And I'm not sure how well it will connect. Can it go? I might want more counters just so I can hang more tools kinda. Um, the pot. Nice. So I kinda made some more terracotta so I should be able to make more counters easily. <laughs> I made a ton of clay because I didn't wanna run out again. So can we make counters? Let's make three counters. And I'm not sure if we can connect this easily. I mean, if we do this kind of and move the fridge here. I'm sure that's gonna connect still. Yeah. I'm gonna hang up all of these tools. I'm not sure what we need a spice rack for, but we'll make it for sure. And I think that's all of the tools. Didn't really open up a lot of options in here, but at least it's tools. The spice rack is just one slab. Okay. So what happens if I kind of put this up here? I'm not even sure what spices is, to be honest. Let's just claim you. And we want an oven so we can make the uh, cooked chickens and stuff. I wonder if that's instant as well. That would be kind of cool. So, black stained glass. We can kind of do that. Where's my ink sacks? It's very specific to require black stained glass and a toaster. That sounds toasty. Haha. -ha. I know I'm not that funny. Let's grab a bucket here and I'm sure I have some lava in one of these. Yeah, one bucket. Neat. So put this away. Magically turns bread into toast. That sounds super great. So we can kind of remove one of these now. And I guess you're going to be between a counter. That's just better layout, I think. And I can put a toaster on you. Ah, and you're put in here. That's an interesting opening sound. So I guess we're gonna have to feed you coal. I've never played with this mod <laughs> other than, that you, than, you know, using it for salt and stuff. Uh, and we're gonna put the coal in here. That was kind of fast. Let's just put all of this in here. So we have a kitchen, kind of. Let's just claim all of these so everything is green. And yeah, that wasn't a hard quest line. And probably gonna take a little look here on how we're gonna do the power of stars. I've never I've never played with astral sorcery before but it's super cool looking from what I've seen first of all we're gonna need a rock crystal rock crystal mm, yeah the ore we need to empower stone with an ore and we're 
kinda short on the nori. Let's do this much nori. And we're gonna need, need a few pieces of stone. Four empowered rock ores should be enough, or I guess one is enough for now. Don't need a ton of it. So are you fast? Please tell me you're fast. The beams weren't there. Kinda. So let's just place you all. I'm not sure why there aren't beams shooting toward the empowerer. But uh, that's fine. Let's just break one of you. The quest should update. Or yeah, I guess we actually need to use this to create a floating crystal. And that we do over here. And uh, let's do two. Neat. Now the next next quest I had some issues with uh, in my test world. But first we'll need a linking tool kinda. So yeah, I'm glad I made the extra, extra of that. And I'm just dying to sort this inventory. There are some gaps in here. So that's done. Now we need a luminous crafting table. We're gonna grab a vanilla crafting table and kinda, let's see. I'm gonna switch you to the astral sorcery tome. And let's grab all of Grab all of the constellations and shift, uh, right click on the tome and kind of put them in this inventory. Good. Neat. And I'm not sure if we need to do this during the night time. In that case we'll just wait. But yeah, I'm gonna put the rock crystal up here for now. The floating crystal I guess. And in regular Minecraft or non-skyblock Minecraft, these just spawn in the overworld in shrines. We can kind of kind of craft them on our own. We just need to kind of say, yeah, you should be linked to the crafting table. And you can see this line kind of going toward the crafting table. That's uh, much more visible during the night. But I think we can kind of find out what we need to do next. So the luminous crafting table, if we double click discovery or you know scroll to it, kind of find out what we need here. So this is the recipe and as you can see here it needs light shining at it when crafting. So some sort of crystal like the one we have here. And we need marble, which I didn't really prefer, prepare for this episode. We have a expensive recipe and a, a cheap recipe, I guess. We can do diorite with nether quartz or kind of changing stone. But we're not really hurting for quartz. So let's just try to make a stack or two. So are you shapeless? I guess not so. Um, I guess it's like this. Okay, maybe not. Let's take a look at the recipe. Cobblestone. Well, that's no fun. That's just making it too easy. Let's put away some more chests. I should open these soon at some point. This chest is kind of building up. I'm sure some of you are getting annoyed by it. So polished diorite and then we need to change it in the reconstructor, which I think takes kind of ton of that. So yeah, as you can see, it got drained super fast. And yeah, we only need some of it. And sooty, sooty, sooty marble. We need marble and a piece of coal in a regular crafting table, I'm sure that um, GI says that we need some sort of special crafting table for this, but I don't think that's the case. Yeah, it's just regular crafting. And gonna need another crafting table. 
guess there is none right here for the moment. Let's make another one. So we're gonna want to do this. And I guess we don't need it to be night. I mean, it's almost night, but not entirely. Let's just replace you here. I'm gonna want the linking. Uh, what was it called? The resonating wand, I guess. And I think maybe we can find that in GI. Yeah, so we got aquamarines from silent gems that we can use here from rock cleaning that we can use to make the resonating wand. And it's just any marble. And I have ender pearls on me. It's just gonna be a matter of grabbing some aquamarines from that chest. Coming over here. And as you can see, we are on Y level 86. Kind of clear view. So this has a ton of starlight right now. And yeah, I think we need to right click with one of these uh, on the table to actually create the kind of complete the task. So we might need to do it in the crafting table. Which is kind of annoying, but I think that might work. Yeah, so now I can kind of replace you. Now we have everything we need to do this. So the way you complete crafts in the luminous crafting table or kind of start them is you right click with the resonating wand. As far as I know, I'm by no means an expert in this mod. So can we do a light well and kind of start getting this extremely cool looking liquid? What do we need for the light well? Ruined marble, one of the rock crystals that we kind of got from... It says attuned. Oh, I guess it's the rock crystal as well. So we need two more aquamarine. And uh, let's just try to clean up our inventory just a little bit before going over there. So two more aquamarine. And the cool thing, when you have chisel installed, this mod becomes a little bit easier because you can just chisel into the correct marble. So I think it was three runes. So I'm going to do one more rune and then it's two chiseled. And it's somewhere around here. There it is. Okay. So it's like that. Like that. And then chiseled. Let's try whopping you. I love it already. It looks nice. And the sound effects are neat as well. So, if we zoom out here and kind of go to exploration, it's going to tell us some things about the light well. Uh, luminous crafting table, not much. So I guess that's just for the crafting. And the liquid emits a bright and pure light, feels very cold, and a bucket full of it weighs almost nothing. Uh, do -do -do -do. To collect aquamarine. In order to use the light well, a aquamarine gem or rock crystal needs to be placed on top to condense starlight into liquid. Gems and crystals used to gather starlight will constantly degrade until the point of completely shattering. Okay, so it's not an infinite source. Hmm. Once placed on the light well, they cannot be used for any other purpose than collecting starlight. That's good to know. So. We're just gonna give you a super clear view of the sky here, kinda. I'm probably gonna want a separate area for this because it's just a so cool mod. It needs its own area. I'm not sure about the pickup delay on this mod. So if I kinda hold you now, I think it's gonna Oh, so I, okay, I just right click it. I right click it. 
uh, <laughs> that was easier. So that's not... I guess these are a bit faster. And we can just get more of them with Enori and Stone, so that, that's not bad. I'm gonna have to try to automate you as well. And that's a little bit over a bucket, we should be able to just grab that. And that has an EMC value, that can be nice to remember, I guess. So, wrong book. I want to go to the quest book and complete this. So yeah, we got started a little bit with the Power of the Stars questline today. Super excited to kind of see what it, what I can do with it in the future. It's just one of those mods that has some incredible visuals. And this is a high res texture. Hmm. Anyways, that's everything for this episode. If you enjoyed the episode, you can like the video or, you know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.